Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm going to do a weekly reading for you guys from the 9th to the 16th. And I also wanted to let you guys know too that I'm taking, I'm going to get out your, your December um, monthlies and your love monthlies. But then that's going to be it for December. Taking the rest of December off. Scorpio, happy birthday. So I am using the, oh my gosh, what are these called? Yeah, the, the Mystic Fairy Tarot. Very lovely cards. And we are going to start with water signs because it is Scorpio's birthday. Happy birthday, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Hey, Scorpio. Cancer. All right, Scorpio, so you have the hangman being stuck in limbo. But the emperor, especially if you have air, if you're a Scorpio with Aries or Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with this person, you know, they're very successful, abundant, secure. This person's definitely stuck waiting, thinking about something, looking at things from a different perspective, maybe Scorpio, whether it's you or someone else. Damn, Cancer. Ten of Swords is your overall energy. Big ending, being stabbed in the back. And oh, this is a terrible combination, Cancer. The Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Good Lord. That's definitely a breakup, an ending, betrayal, lies, deceit, three-party situation. We will see. Yeah, something definitely, definitely ended here. But the worst is behind you, Cancer. But you are still definitely hurting or disappointed. We'll see. Pisces, your overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Sorry, Cancer, you have all air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Seven of Swords. Now, this particular Seven of Swords, I definitely see you taking a risk or an air sign taking a risk on some sort of new beginning that's solid, stable, grounded, could be a new home. Something that you've maybe even been keep. Maybe you're purchasing your own home or someone else is. And they've been keeping it a secret. Or you're getting a new job. So someone could be stealing your money too, I'm just saying. Possible. But I don't really feel that with that particular card. The Seven of Swords. So I'm using the after tarot because I love these for what comes next. Water signs. The ninth, sixteenth. Scorpio. These are only red in the upright. Cancer. Not the jumper. Pisces. Oh. oh my God. 
Cancer, I cannot believe that you have the Three of Swords again. You are truly just absolutely devastated over something. Or this situation is going to get worse before it gets better. I'm going to get another card there. There could be an actual death here. There is definitely lies, betrayals over too much fantasies, illusions. But in this deck, definitely picking it, you know, narrowing it down, picking something. Even trying to go back to something, but that's like way hell no. Cancer. Let me just let, let me just say this. If you're trying to get back together with an air sign or them you, I don't see it. Not this week anyway, or next week. I mean, this is like, what happened like at least three months, three to seven months of really feeling this hurt, pain, betrayal. I mean, there could be many offers, opportunities right in front of you, Cancer. Scorpio, interesting, the Magician and the Emperor. So, the men, or it's the same person, you have Virgo, Gemini, and the Emperor. You could be in limbo over two men. Trying to decide between two men. If this is one person, they definitely have their shit together. And it's most likely you that's stuck, Scorpio. But if you're a Scorpio with Virgo, Gemini, or Aries, Taurus in your chart, you're manifesting something absolutely amazing. And I want to say, like, what are you waiting for? Like, go. You have absolutely everything you need. but And you are going to celebrate this. You are going to start this new, be new beginning. Whether it's work. Career. Love. Family. Could be anything. But if this is the same person for one of you. And they're like leaving you in limbo or they're stuck. They definitely are going to like very soon by January. I think they're going to manifest a new beginning for you. Pisces. So you have the king of wands. So this definitely could be the person that's either taking a risk on you. You're the, the person that you're moving in with person that is stealing from you, Aries, Leo, Sag, but I don't really feel that. I just don't. I feel like this is a risky energy on this new beginning. And, you know, whether you're male or female, you're definitely feeling passionate, excited, ready to start this new path, this new beginning. Cancer. Good Lord. It's only for the week. What a week. What a reading that was. Press them are good. All right, air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius.
Aquarius, I swear to God, on Facebook Live last week, you got your own card, the star card. Or in your monthly, or I think it was Facebook though. Unbelievable. Okay, so Libra, you have the Queen of Pentacles, is your overall energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, female. You know, definitely feeling grounded, stable, secure, financially well off. But somebody's definitely bored emotionally. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy here. Or, you know, there's definitely a very stubborn. I mean, even here too. If you are, if you have Earth in your chart, definitely just two people being very stubborn. Definitely apathy going on here. You know, Libra, you definitely want more for yourself. Maybe you want to be like the Queen, more like the Queen of Pentacles or feel more like the Queen of Pentacles. Whether it's job, a relationship, you're definitely emotionally bored and not satisfied with where you're at or what's being offered. You're just, we'll see when we clarify. You, I just feel like you want more for yourself and you're thinking about what your next plan is going to be here. Because I just feel like when I look at this Queen of Pentacles, you're definitely planning. Gemini. So your overall energy is the Two of Pentacles with Justice. Sign of Libra. So you have Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Well, definitely if you're waiting on a decision, I definitely see that coming in. Whether you're waiting on one, giving one, I don't think you see it coming, though. You don't see something coming. If this is juggling your finances, I definitely feel like you're signing on the dotted line. Whatever it is. It does feel more like work, maybe a divorce. We'll see when we clarify that, Gemini, Aquarius. I mean, the strength as your overall energy, sign of Leo. And then the star, you're just again, coming up in your own element here. Definitely staying positive, lots of communication, being strong, being brave. I just feel like there's something you want to do. You might be holding back a little bit, or a, a Leo is. If you're an Aquarius dealing with a straight up Leo, or have Leo in their moon or rising, this person is definitely like bringing your wishes and dreams coming true. That they definitely have the strength, the inner strength. That could be you, them. If you've been patient, I mean, you definitely have a lot of communication coming through. All right, Libra with the Queen of Pentacles. Four cups for Libra.
can't even make this shit up. Strength. Again, someone definitely does have the strength, the courage. You're definitely dealing with a Leo and the Wheel of Fortune. Car time. <laughs> Karma, destiny. Things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen, which is now. Or in Aquarius season. January. Amazing. Damn, Libra. Okay, well, well let's do Gemini. Because Gemini, I definitely feel like you're making a decision or you two are, at, are dealing with a Leo or a Libra, but maybe going from single to married, because you're definitely completing a very long cycle chapter within your life. Something that you've been very, very patient for, waited a long time for. This could be travel, purchasing a new home, a new job. You don't, you're definitely not juggling anymore. If you are someone that was juggling a Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Libra, or you have one of these in your chart, the juggling is definitely, definitely done. You know, Gemini, I almost feel like if you have Earth in your chart, you're the one that's going to travel, start out on your own. For some of you, this really does feel like a divorce. And then others of you, it's just, it's, it's just a decision. Waiting on a decision, making a decision until you could start this new beginning. Libra. This could be a time frame for you. With the tower. Oh, Libra, I'm going to get another card for you. Because, you know, if this is a stubborn situation, like I, I said before, this definitely could escalate into a, a fight. And I almost kind of feel like, especially if you're the one with Earth in your chart, or you're, if you're a female with Earth in your chart, I almost feel like you're the one that's causing the tower. As soon as I said that, look at that, justice. This is definitely a divorce. I'm gonna grab one more though, because I really wasn't focused. Gosh, excuse me. Wait, bro. This is definitely, I feel definitely a divorce for some of you. Definitely signing. You have cancer here. I think this is all over, literally, lies, deception, not communicating. But you're definitely going to feel more balanced. And things are going to be made fair, made right, whether you're getting divorced or cutting yourself free from a job. Aquarius, your reading is absolutely flipping amazing. What a great reading for Aquarius. For real. All right, who do I want to do next? All right, Earth Science. Let's do you guys. Virgo, Doris, Capricorn. Going to the 16th. Virgo, Doris, Capricorn. 
Jericho. Okay, Virgo, so you have the Devil, Sign of Capricorn, and the Two of Pentacles. Well, this is definitely juggling two people. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. But I think, I think you're definitely making a decision to get yourself more balanced. Get out of a toxic situation with a Capricorn. You're definitely doing something, Virgo. Someone's ma making a decision regarding a three-party situation. Maybe, I don't know, Virgo, I just see you making the decision to just up and leave either a job, a relationship. That's just toxic. You know, not for your, not in your highest good. You know, you want more security, stability. Like, we'll see when we clarify. Taurus, you have the Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the Eight of Pentacles, which is your energy, working very hard, putting in a lot of time, energy, effort into something. And I think you're waiting on news for, about that, waiting to sign for something, a new job, a home. I feel like some of you are definitely working on your home, maybe a loan. If there's been delays, things are definitely going to pick up the pace. You know, the Knight of Swords is very quick, sudden. But if it's anything with signing papers, new job, new home, definitely. I do see you doing that. Capricorn, the Six of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. With the Page of Wands. And you are just sitting and waiting. Waiting for things to become balanced. Being generous of your time, your energy. You know that somebody wants to come in and talk to you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. You're just waiting. They're waiting. Somebody's definitely waiting for someone to... To come out, you know, the Page of Wands is definitely, whether you're male or female, Capricorn, you know, wanting to start down a new path. Start something exciting. You could even be waiting on money, like a loan, child support, something like that, before you could start this new beginning. Let's see. Virgo. Wow. 
Virgo, that I think you're leaving one relationship and moving on to another. I really do. Look at that. Eight of Cups, as soon as you receive this news communication, Taurus, you could move forward. Wow, Capricorn and the Ace of Pentacles, same for you. <laughs> this could definitely could be a new home. Definitely you have exciting news coming, whether it's a job, any, any sort of solid, stable, grounded new beginning. Job, home. Definitely receive, if you're, listen, if you're waiting on a shitload of money, it's coming. Inheritance, assets, anything. Your disability, it's coming. Well, Virgo, two twos here, a decision definitely has been made. If you're dealing with a cat with... I think you're definitely leaving a Capricorn for another Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Or they have this in their chart, Capricorn, in their chart. Or you do, Virgo. But this is definitely your soulmate. I think it's somebody new. I do think it was a three-party situation. A decision was definitely needed, and it's been made. What a great reading for you guys. Wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Those are signs. Those of you that want to timestamp this, I would so much appreciate it. That is such a pain in the ass. Those of you that do it, I do. I really do appreciate you guys. All right, we are on fire signs, and then we're done. Fire signs. Ninth. No. Fire signs. She's prescribing these fire signs. Aries. Aries. Beautiful. Leo. Aries, even all over the place, you still have this King of Cups <laughs> that you're waiting for with the Seven of Pentacles or them you. That's a waiting game. It always is for you, Aries. <laughs> this is a waiting game. He's upright, loving, caring, but he does look like he's thinking about something, someone. If you have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart, Aries, they're thinking about you or maybe an earth sign. Or an earth sign's being patient, or you are if you have earth in your chart, we'll see. Leo, Scorpio, speaking of. Which Aries, you know, Scorpio, that definitely could be a time frame for you, which is now. 
where the wait is over, Aries. Leo, death, Scorpio, which could be now, but solid, stable, grounded, new beginning, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles, just, I mean, really, this card is beautiful. Endings, new beginnings, transforming a situation where it's not going to be the same as it was before. New job, new relationship. I do feel like something is definitely ending. Look at this skull too. Ending for you in Scorpio season and you're starting something new. Sagittarius, you have the Knight of Wands. So you, either you, you could be doing this, another fire sign could be doing this. You know, it, it's exciting news, communication, it's things happening suddenly. Especially, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, if you've been down and out feeling like no one cares feeling like you have to keep something a secret with the high priestess. Or you're listening to your intuition when it comes to something, this fire sign. Or this fire sign is coming in to help you and you don't even see it. You don't even see him coming. That's very possible. Because your eyes are closed here. Your eyes are closed here. How are you going to see him coming? It's very interesting. Fire. <laughs> Aries, I, I wasn't ready for you, but the death card did flip up. Scorpio, Scorpio season, probably Scorpio, because it always is for you. Aries, just saying. Look at this. Aries. <laughs> I can't even. Aries. Aries. Wow, Aries. Leo. Aries, listen, I didn't, I swear this came up for you guys last week. If you are dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, you're definitely getting the whole truth, the, nothing but the truth from this person, or they're getting it from you. All the difficulties are over. You know, you've worked hard. He's worked hard. You planted the seeds. And now there's, here's your victory. Here's your new beginning. After dealing with challenges, it could even be work or a relationship. But whatever you've been, if you've been patient on waiting on a decision from a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, you are coming, they are coming in with it. If you're signing for money, definitely coming in. Waiting on money, signing for a job, definitely. Leo, death. But this makes this makes so much sense because I love how you go from death, which it could be Scorpio season, to the Ace of Pentacles. Which is an ending to something that was no longer serving you. It's an ending in a new beginning that's solid, stable, grounded. Could definitely be a new home.
or you're ending something with a Scorpio, or this is happening for you in Scorpio season. All right, Aquarius, you wound up with the Queen of Pentacles. So if you're a Sagittarius with Earth in your, in your, I mean, you definitely might be secretly wanting to start something new with the Empress, the Empress, with the High Priestess here. I feel like you definitely want to start something and you're keeping it to yourself or someone else is. Or you're hoping for news regarding your finances. Maybe you do feel financially depleted. You're definitely getting communication regarding that. And I feel like it's it's definitely quick too. It's like just going to be totally out of the blue. For some of you, I think it's definitely work. And then for others of you, I just feel like you want to put something out there. You want to start something new, something that you've been secretly, you know, starting, building. You know, you're in the beginning stages, but it's like as soon as you put it out there, you're the queen of pentacles. You know, secure, stable, well off financially. So if you have anything that you want to put out there, like, definitely, now's the time to do it. Guys, great readings. I will see you guys back here for, um, like, your, your December's, um, readings. I'm, I'm going to go live on YouTube for them. But, um... Absolutely. I can't even talk. I'm tired. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, check me out on Facebook. Probably go there next. Or well, maybe not. It's 1130. All right, guys. Absolutely love you guys. And I will see you back here really soon.